Hey everybody, we're going to take a look at uh, my version 2 light arms for the Chasing M2. Um, done a few modifications here to make these light arms just swing out. They lock into place uh, using a bracket bar and a clip on the arms, which are both meant to be replaced. They can be broken off, they can actually be easily removed, pin just pulls out, and the full piece can be replaced. Uh, so it's quick, easy, no tools needed. Except for when you're on camera, there we go. Uh, locks right back into place, placement done. Lights can be readjusted, we can go down here and loosen this light head up. I can move this in any position. Technically, I can actually point it backwards if there wasn't a cable involved. Um, and we just lock it, put it where we want to. So if you're expecting holes, you can look up. If you're video videoing fish, you might want to have your light dome go further ahead so you're not illuminating the water in front of you. I just moved them out on the arms here as far as possible, but I wanted to fit the M2 without doing any cutting. There is no modifications needed other than taking it apart, removing the lights from the front, moving them out to the pods, putting the replacements in. They just screw into the exact same place. Um, the mounts stay the same. The brackets that these hold into are part of the M2. So everything can be taken off and can be taken right back to stock. It takes a few minutes. Uh, it's a very, very simple process. But anyhow, the goal was to make it so that you could set up very, very, very quickly and do a very quick teardown to put it into a smaller container. Any other light arms I've worked with required other types of containers or wash bins. This one goes in and out of their crate, box sizing. Away you go. Hey, thanks for watching.